Hi, I'm Vandana Santhal, brand ambassador for Dress My Craft, sharing insights on the launch of very new product called the Easy Cuts from Dress My Craft. Today, I'm sharing techniques as well as product demonstration as to how this machine can give you an amazing crafting experience by using different materials. Today, I'm going to use um, copper sheet. Now, this machine is actually sized at 3 inch by 6 inch and it comes with two acrylic plates uh, within the kit. And uh, I'm choosing my blades for this uh, projects from the foliage and the leaves collection. Now I backed it up this copper sheet onto a glossy photo paper just to give it me give me a bit more strength so I can run through the machine. And now I'm placing the die as you can see the flat side of uh, of the blade is facing upwards and the raised side is onto the copper sheet. And I'm going to make a sandwich between the two acrylic plates and then, you know, run through the machine, cranking it up back and forth like a couple of times, just so that I have an assurity that the pattern that I'm going for comes out without any damage. And this is very normal thing to do because like, I just don't know between the copper sheet and the glossy photo paper, how much compression is um, going to happen. So I'm just going to be very sure and now let's see the result. I'm just removing the blade there and you can see that already, you know, the cut piece is already peeping through. So I will be removing, you know, very um, easily and there you can see the metallic accent of it. Now you can use this for your uh, gifting tags or for your album or for your mixed media or anything that you want to do with this kind of uh, technique. You can go ahead and you can, you can use this idea. Now next up I'm using the embossing technique which I love and I'm using this hard rubber mat which is going to come as my base. The silicone mat is going to act as my buffer and I'm going to finally finish it with the acrylic plate. Now in between of these uh, rubber mat and silicone mat, I'm going to put this copper sheet again, which I backed it up with a glossy photo paper. And this time I'm placing the blade, not uh, the raised edge to onto the copper sheet, but rather the raised edge will be facing the acrylic plate and the blunt side will be facing onto the paper. Now I'm just pushing that onto the silicone mat and then on top of that comes the acrylic uh, pad. So basically that acts as your sandwich. Now I'm going to crank it up and push through that machine back and forth again as usual just to see how far the depth of that embossing I can get. And I've done quite couple of projects this way so I know for sure like you know I, I will be pleasantly very happy with this one so I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to see the result now there you go now you can add archival ink on top of this just to you know get that kind of like um, just to highlight the raised edges or the embossed edges and you're good to go with your projects. And next up is my most favorite uh, technique that I follow all through the time. And that's my love for the stencils. And it goes way beyond than I can put it in words. So I'm taking some patterns which I'm really liking from foliage and the uh, leaves collection. And I'm just going to size that stencil sheet according to the mission uh, platform. And I'm sizing up my blades again this time I want the pattern to be cut through the sheet so I'm just going to place the blade down and I'm going to sandwich that between two acrylic plates and I'm going to run through the machine so I don't know at this point if the sheet is a bit more resilient so I'm just running back and forth and you can see already there is that crisp cutting of the pattern and it's going to look marvelous when I push the mediums through that stencil. So I'm just going to do a small demo here and show you how crisp that pattern is going to look on my project. Actually, I, I love this uh, kind of DIY kind of concepts and this machine is just given me the value for money.
So this came in my design team kit for the November month and I have been experimenting it and pushing the mission beyond you can imagine. Super happy and I'm really glad that you know I could uh, be here to showcase and demonstrate this for you. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you.